This mixing method is the secret to light and fluffy English scones. Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm so excited to share with you how to make this light and tender English scones. These scones are so easy to make. You need only 30 minutes and a handful of ingredients, and I'm going to share with you a secret to getting the light cake-like texture and these scones are not overly sweet which makes it perfect to serve with sweet butter and jam so let's get started for this recipe you will need flour sugar buttermilk milk butter baking powder eggs and salt first we'll mix two eggs with milk and buttercream and whisk it until it's nice and smooth I've never been a fan of scones before, and one time my husband and I were having an afternoon tea at uh, Savoy in London, and they served this super light and tender English scones, which I immediately fell in love with, and I had to recreate this at home. And I'm so happy that I came across English scone recipe on Cook's Illustrated, and I slightly adapted this recipe, and I'm so excited for you to give it a try too. And then we'll reserve about two tablespoons of this mixture for later. And then set it aside, and then we'll move on to the next step. And now we'll mix all the dry ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder. Don't be alarmed, we are using a lot of baking powder and this is not a mistake. It creates that really light and fluffy texture, gives the lift to the scones and a little bit salt. And then mix it together until it's evenly distributed, just a half a minute or so. Now, this may sound really weird, but we're going to add our butter into the flour mixture and then mix it until butter is evenly distributed throughout the flour and I'll show you the right texture, how it looks. Make sure to mix it on a low speed so your flour doesn't fly out everywhere. It takes a couple of minutes to thoroughly mix the mixture and you want your butter to evenly distribute throughout the flour and your mixture should look like wet sand like texture like so and this is the secret to light and tender English scones because the fat from the butter coats the flour granules and minimizes the gluten formation and creates that cake like texture and now we'll just add our egg mixture and mix it until it's combined a nice cohesive dough forms. The dough will be kind of soft, so don't worry, it's exactly how it's supposed to be. And give it a good mix just so there's everything is combined well. Give it another or so mix. So look at the texture of this batter. It's quite sticky. It may seem impossible to form into scones, but I'll show you how to handle this. So we're going to generously flour the, the countertop with the flour. And using your spatula, just drop your batter. And take a handful of dry flour all over your hands and knead your dough into a smooth ball and uh, be generous with the flour. Not too much because we don't want to add too much flour, but at the same time, you will need some flour on your hands to prevent sticking. And kneading is important because you don't want any cracks on the surface of your dough. Otherwise, your scones are going to crack, which is fine again. But if you care for a perfect look, that's how you achieve that nice smooth scones. Okay, this looks good. And then we'll roll it into one inch thick disc. See how it's easy to handle the dough now? Dust it on the bottom. Okay, looking great. And take two inch circle cutter and cut out your scones and put it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or silicone mat. Okay. 
And if your cutter is sticking to the scones, just run it on the dry flour and try again. And gather your scraps and knead it into a smooth ball and repeat the steps again until you run out of your dough. You will get about 16 scones out of this recipe. And now we'll go ahead and brush the reserved egg mixture and we'll brush it onto our scones. So it gets nice and beautiful golden brown crust on top. Okay, so now I'm going to bake the scones at 425 degrees oven for about 12 to 15 minutes until the scones have nice golden brown crust and they're going to be puffed up really nicely and I'll show you when they come out. My scones are baked. They look beautiful and smell so good. And now I'm going to carefully transfer them onto a wire rack to cool completely. You may notice some of mine cracked on top and whatnot, and those are the ones that I made from scraps, so they're not perfectly shaped, which is fine. It's Cook Street. I'm going to enjoy it before anyone sees it. Okay. And I'm going to cool them before I taste test them, and I'll be back, and we can try them together. My scones are cooled and I'm ready to dive in. Look how tall and fluffy it is. And um, you just break it horizontally in half, like so. My goodness, the crumbs are so light. Oh my gosh, look at that. So tender and light. And I made this sweet butter yesterday slather on sweet butter on one side and put a little bit jam on other side like i said these scones are not overly sweet which makes it perfect to serve it with jam it's not going to be overly sweet or anything okay i'm ready to dive in just so excited oh my goodness mm. So, so perfect. It's like you're having a cake. It's perfect for brunches, baby showers, bridal showers, or if you're just going to have for Sunday morning breakfast, it's perfect as well. I really hope you will give this recipe a try. And if you are interested in more easy baking recipes, check out my chocolate banana bread recipe next. Or if you're hosting an afternoon tea and need more pastries, check out my pastry playlist. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.